Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be going through pretty much all of my belongings and minimizing. I mentioned this in my most recent like apartment tour video that I was uncomfortable with the amount of belongings that I currently have and I would like to reduce it hopefully somewhat significantly. I'm gonna start here in the closet in my bedroom and kind of talk you through what goes through my mind when I am reducing my possession. First of all, my definition of min minimalism, I've had to go through it in like all my videos just to make sure that I'm crystal clear about it, is not that I own like less than 40 things all together and that I have all like walls and no decorations and no like knickknacks or anything like that. It is just that I try to keep things that I truly find value in and that I find useful and that I really enjoy or in like Marie Kondo's words that spark joy. So I have some things now that definitely don't spark joy and that I am looking to not own anymore. And I have slowly accumulated more and more and more things and just like anybody else, a lot of the time it kind of just ends up behind closed doors, literally. So there's a lot of stuff in the closet that I've just shoved in there so that I don't have to look at it. And if people come over, they don't have to look at it. And I'm ready to part ways with it. Let me show you. So here's what we got going on here. This is kind of my side and this is my boyfriend's side, but he has a lot less clothes than me in general. And then up here is kind of like some extra storage for our whole house. But there's a lot of stuff that doesn't belong in here. There's a lot of stuff that I would just like to move around and consolidate. So I'm doing a lot of work in this closet today. And I will say that this is kind of a horrifying amount of stuff to own for me. Um, and I realize and appreciate and understand that other people might look at this and think it's no big deal. Other people might look at it and be even more appalled than I am. If you have more things than this, that's fine. If you have less things than this, that's fine. We're all allowed to own as many things as we're comfortable with. And if we feel like we can't get around to cleaning or minimizing, that's fine too. This video is simply if you're curious about a way to minimize, because there's lots of different ways. This is usually how I do it. Ideally, I would like to take everything out of here and put it on my bed. Then I'm gonna go through everything one by one, I generally make three piles. Keep, yes, 100%, no questions asked. Maybe, and no. And then within the no, there's usually sell, donate, trap, or recycle, whatever the most ethical way I can dispose of whatever the thing is. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and usually what I do with the maybe pile, that's gonna be a little bit different this time, is my general philosophy is if I don't immediately want it, that kind of means that I'm not gonna keep it. So maybe pile stays a little bit um, light. But if I really do have something that I'm just torn on, I go by the rule of have I used this or have I even seen it in the last year? Now, this year, that's gonna be different because guess what was last year? Pandemic, lockdown, like if I have a gown or something in my drag stuff and I'm like, oh, well, I didn't wear this last year. Well, of course I didn't. I was on the couch the whole time. I'm gonna have to think a little bit harder about it this time and not rely on that metric, but I would say usually that's pretty good because the chances of you not using something for a year or two years and suddenly using it again in the next year or two years are pretty, pretty slim. That's my usual advice. But again, if you really love something, don't throw it away. It doesn't matter if you didn't use it. If it still brings you joy, then you don't get rid of it. All right, time to dump all this stuff.
All right, so here's everything. Um, this is quite overwhelming to me. I'm actually pretty appalled by it. that. That's just one side of the closet and it's pretty much all mine. Um, there's only like three shared things there. <sighs> pretty chaotic, but it's gonna be fine. But now, as I mentioned before, um, I'm just gonna kind of start picking through things section by section. And whatever is an immediate yes, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back in the closet right away. And I'm gonna start with clothes because uh, I feel like that's a good starting point. I mean, most people have some clothes that they want to get rid of, and it's one of those things that can bring you pretty quick satisfaction and make you feel like you really accomplished something, which can kind of um, snowball down into all the other things that you have to minimize and makes it a better experience. Alright, so here are my clothes back in the closet. I honestly didn't get rid of that many things. A lot of times when I get rid of clothes and I'm really uncertain if I actually do want to get rid of them, I kind of demote them or promote them to pajamas or athletic wear instead and have them live their life as that and see if it makes me happier before I decide to actually get rid of them. I know that in my mind I have a lot of clothes that I would like to get rid of today, but they're all like in the dressers across the room instead of in the closet hanging. and they will be things that were once shirts and then became pajamas and are now going to become donations. But I am going to go ahead and apply that same method to what I was doing, picking through things and I'm going to leave them on the bed if I don't want them. And we're going to zoom through this pile here. Um, just as an aside, this material is to make zero waste fire starters. That's why I'm keeping it. Alrighty, so here's all the stuff I'm getting rid of. Um, it might not look like a lot. There's some stuff over in this corner that I'll show you as well. But some of this, um, just doesn't belong in this closet anymore, but majority of it I'm parting ways with entirely. Yes, again, even though it doesn't look like a lot, I have minimized so many times that it kind of becomes less and less physically each time that I end up parting with, but it still feels the same. Like I still feel like there's a weight lifted. This whole bag here is full of stuff that I'm getting rid of as well. And then some stuff that found its way onto the dresser. Here is the after for this side of the closet. I hope you can see the difference. All right, I'm gonna do this side now. Um, I'm not gonna record it, but I will come back with the after. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching if you've watched this far. I hope you got some kind of value out of this. I realize now that I picked something that wouldn't have been extremely astonishing before and after and is pretty narrow and hard to get my camera like into. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you at least got one good tip out of it. You know, sometimes minimalism is kind of just putting things away. Having clear surfaces and clear walls and nothing really out in the open a lot of times just means that there's a lot of stuff that you just can't see. So it is important, at least to me, to go through those things occasionally and make sure that I'm not accidentally 
hanging on to things that I normally wouldn't have just because I can't see it. Please check out my description. There's a link to my Patreon as well as my other social media sites. Please leave a like and subscribe. Comment if you really want. It takes almost no time at all and it's completely free and it really benefit me. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, until next time. Bye.